Hi guys, a very good afternoon and welcome to a new crypto market outlook for the 6th of June 2021. So in today's crypto market outlook, we're going to have a look at why the price of Bitcoin has been depreciating and we're going to have a look at Ethereum and XRP. So to begin with Bitcoin. So as we can see, we're currently depreciating in price, moving back in towards the lows. So what is the main reason behind the drop? Well, if we look at what the current structure is doing on the four hour time frame, we can see that we had the high, the low, the high, and now created a new low, and now are creating a potential new lower high at this area of resistance. So what is next for Bitcoin? Well, after making this head and shoulders pattern with the left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder, alongside this 618 Fib, we can now use the Fib extensions um, as a potential target for or from where Bitcoin will potentially bottom out before then starting its new wave back in towards the highs. So my first target is definitely the minus 27 level, which aligns perfectly with this one hour buying zone at around 34,500. My second target is definitely the 618 Fib extension at around 33.3K, which I've been calling for some time now. So after making this head and shoulders and the 618 fib retracement, it wouldn't be yeah, strange to move back down in towards lows. The only thing that we are currently dealing with is that we are currently situated at this ascending trend line, right? So for a next dip in Bitcoin and a move lower, we definitely have to start seeing another four hour bearish close after this four hour bearish close. Once we see this four hour close bearish and underneath this area of minor support, at around yeah, 36, 5 or 35, 532, we will see Bitcoin depreciate in price and move back down lower in towards this minus 27 level. So yeah, that's next for Bitcoin. Um, we definitely have to see a break above this area of resistance if we want to see more upside and we have to see a four hour bearish close, a strong four hour bearish close underneath this minor area of support if we want to see Bitcoin dip down lower towards that minus 27 level or even in towards that minus 618 fib level. So yep, that's Bitcoin. Let's head over to Ethereum. And Ethereum hasn't been doing much, to be honest, kind of like Bitcoin, just consolidating a bit. Um, we are teasing a break of this ascending trend line. So a potential setup that you could see on Ethereum is, for instance, that we have this fib retracement back up in towards the highs tap of the 618 and a retest of the overall ascending trend line on the four hour before now moving back down in towards the lows. Um, yeah, with our first target being at this zero fib level and at this area of support. So the current one hour isn't really doing that much. We did seem to be within this downtrend. However, what you have to understand is that we never created a new lower low in comparison to this previous low, right? So at the moment, Ethereum is just in consolidation, so you could take this short setup at the 618 towards the downside. Um, however, the problem is, is that we never created a new lower low in comparison to this low. So the probability of us dropping yeah, further back down in towards lows is definitely a little bit yeah, slim. So what am I waiting for Ethereum? Well, what I want to see is a new lower low to be formed. So it's Sunday. I'm not going to be taking any risks. I really want to see a trend switch in Ethereum. So I really want to see a new low be formed before getting in on the new lower high before then once again shorting it back down towards that 2300 level. So yeah, if we do see a break above this high over here and a break back above this overall ascending trend line, nice new higher high in comparison to this high, I will then be looking for longs on the creation of a new higher low, which aligns potentially with this um, yeah, imaginary trend line over here or this trend line over here. So yeah, that's Ethereum. Let's head over to our last coin, which is XRP. And XRP reacted beautifully, beautifully, beautifully towards my demand zone. As we can see, once we tapped in towards demand, we did start embossing back in towards the highs. So what is next for XRP? Well, we're very dependent on the price of Bitcoin, especially over and during the weekends. So what I can currently see on XRP is that we have the one, the two, and now the third touch of the descending trend line. 
So the wedge has or the channel has essentially matured. So I wouldn't be surprised to see more upside. However, if the price of Bitcoin just decides to dump, we will see a decline in the price of XRP, especially during the weekends, just as I said with Ethereum. So for XRP to see a rise in price, we definitely have to wait um, and see what Bitcoin does next. So yeah, I do expect more upside on XRP. However, yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see what Bitcoin decides to do. So yeah, that was all for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you have any comments or requests, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I can't wait to see you all in tomorrow's Forex Market Outlook at 9 a.m. Central Eastern Time. Thanks, guys.